Yeah, my name is uh, Nicholas Broussard. Um, 21 years old. But for the first, I guess, 18 years of my life, grew up in New Orleans. Um, and for the first seven years of my life, grew up in New Orleans prior to Katrina. My dad was and still is a drummer, and my mom was a masseuse. Simple childhood. You know, I never really paid much attention at all to the weather. Um, but I, the story was always just like, because I've always been a really deep sleeper. And, um, and so I remember we had like a tropical storm one day. And I would just sleep right through it. So, you know, they would just be like, Nick, you sleep through Mardi Gras barricades, tropical storms. So we were affected by Katrina. I knew people that were affected and we were affected. So, like as I mentioned before, um, the area we lived in was called Mid-City. And like I said, you know, my dad's house and my mom's house, you know, it's like right here. So uh, I don't actually think in my mom's house we had cable. And so, so we were like kind of living under a rock. And uh, in 2005, um, I'm pretty sure it's August. It was the Saturday, like, right before Katrina, so, like, we had no idea, like, about it. And, um, and so we were, out, we were in the car on the way to my mom's job, and I remember we got a call from my grandmother, and she was like, well, what are y'all doing? We're like, what do you mean, what are we doing? We're going to, my mom's going to work. Blah, blah, blah. She's like, no, like, for the storm. Like, where are y'all evacuating to? And we're like, what the heck are you talking about? So we were at my mom's work, and we, you know, they have cable over there, so we tuned into the news. They were, like, calling for, like, a three-day evacuation or something, three or four-day evacuation. Okay, well, I guess we're evacuating. And um, so we, we go home, and we start packing. I mean, literally just packed. I packed this tiny little suitcase that I had. I packed like a few outfits and my mom did the same thing. I mean, we did not load the car up by any means. I had just gotten a dog earlier that year named Baxter. But so we packed him up in the kennel, packed our little PT cruiser up. We were evacuating to Jackson, Mississippi. That's where my mom's dad lived. It's normally four hour drive to Jackson or something like that. It took us like probably like seven or eight hours to get to Jackson just because I remember it was just like a standstill on the interstate out, you know, because obviously the whole city is leaving. And the, the crazy thing about Katrina was like, I was seven years old and like in second grade, we had literally just started, we were in school for a week and then evacuated. So we get to Jackson and all of a sudden, like we're watching the news and stuff. And then I guess before you know it, we are just literally like the levees broke and we're just watching like the city underwater. So in New Orleans, the style of house that's like really popular is like shotgun houses, which is just like, you know, uh, you'd see, you can see all the way to the back of the house. My mom's house, we got 15 feet of water in my mom's house. In my dad's house, we got like 11 feet of water. Um, we really lost virtually everything, like, you know, not that it even matters that much, but like all our original birth certificates lost, all like, we have very few photos like now because all photos lost, any videos lost, all the stuff in my dad's house that we had in the basement, that was all gone. Um, but I mean, it was just everything gone. And uh, like my uncle died, uh, like just like drowned um, and it was terrible too because he was literally just about to go to rehab and he was supposed to be getting uh, like this bus out of New Orleans but he was really bad with time and stuff like that and so he missed the bus and I, there's no real confirmed story so we don't really know like exactly what happened with him but you know his body was found like months later just like down the river but I mean I remember my mom going down 
to New Orleans. I mean, she came back just like so depressed because having to shovel out our house, everything, like we were literally just living there. I mean, I never saw the kids in my neighborhood again. I never even really like went back to our neighborhood because it was just kaput, out of service. Yeah, all, I never saw any of those kids again. I never, I never saw them again, never. What it, the biggest thing that the storm is, is a reference point. Like, and that's what I use it for the most. When we're talking about the past and stuff, it's like, oh, okay, like was it after or before the storm? Like, that's a really good like reference point. Cause it's like, I know I was seven. And it was a totally different thing. It, it, my life was totally different before and after. Before, it's like I've got my parents, and they live, a, it's a five minute walk from the house. And then after the storm, it's like, no, my parents are a five hour like drive from each other. And so it was a total shift in my life. And I wasn't, since I was young, I wasn't processing it, but I was certainly feeling all of its effects.